Hey there, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna share how I restored this old vacuum cleaner. I've been using this for the past six years and recently its performance has declined a lot. Its suction has been reduced and it can't suck really well. It's only a dry model, so wet sucking is not at all its function. I contacted the brand's consumer care helpline number and they gave me multiple service and contact numbers. And none of them picked up the call, so I thought why not do it myself. Before starting the project, let's understand how this vacuum cleaner works. Here's a basic layout of the vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaners work on the principle of pressure difference. Air tends to move from a region of high pressure zone to a low pressure zone. In this model, it's achieved with the help of powerful universal mode that spins at speeds ranging from 10,000 to 20,000 RPM. And that's the axis of its motor. It spins a fan at those great speeds as a result a negative pressure is created in the dust bag chamber. As this pressure is much lower than atmospheric pressure, the atmospheric air tends to move into those into that region through the hose. All dust particles get collected in the dust bag and remaining air get filtered through a primary filter and moves into the motor thereby cooling it and it leaves through the blower end. There is another secondary filter. In my case, the rubber seal was damaged and the primary and secondary filter were totally damaged. There were leaks in the dust bag, so it was it couldn't contain the dust within. The suction force is controlled with the help of speed regulating variant that alters the RPM of electric motor, thereby giving variable flow rates at different RPMs. If you observe closely, you can notice a lot of cracks on the seal. That's the lid which gets covered over the seal. Let's remove that seal first. Before repairing any electrical appliance, make sure to unplug it first. And if you have no experience or idea about it, please don't try this at home. There are eight screws at the bottom, two at the back side hidden under the blow up panel opening the switch panel reveals all the wiring and connections underneath observe every connection before removing them a single wrong connection can ruin the entire motor Two screws are hidden under the back panel at the blower end. You can't remove the body unless you remove those two screws. There it comes, the back panel is removed. Now the bottom lid can be opened now. There it is. It's been opened for the first time in these six years and there are, there's a lot of dust deposits everywhere. Use a good quality respirator mask as this fine dust can be really harmful if inhaled. That's a motor damper which damps all the vibrations and creates an airtight seal. And there we have the main electric motor. It's a 1300 watts universal motor. No complaints with its carbon brushes. At the bottom there is its casing which creates an airtight seal around the motor. On right side you can see the cable winding mechanism. In order to remove the motor, the connection has to be unplugged first from the board. The red and the blue, those are the two wires. Blue one can be simply unplugged from the board. The red one is screwed connections. There is also a pressure sensor beside the motor. Unplug them as well. Thus the pressure sensor is unplugged. Here is the motor, that's the electric motor, it's fully ridden fully covered in dust and requires a lot of cleaning. 
Stay tuned for my detailed video on this motor. Subscribe if you haven't. That's a condition of dust bag. As you can see its joints are very weak and dust may come out from that. So I thought to stitch them with the help of an additional cloth. I used my home sewing machine for this purpose. After complete stitching the corners became much stronger and they can keep dust within now. This metallic part gives mechanical strength to the rubber seal as well as uh, act as the seat for the electric motor. It was rusted and a lot of corrosion were on surface so I had to remove that first. After removing them I applied a little bit of anti-rust liquid so that it can't rust in future. There were more than 30 parts in this vacuum cleaner. I cleaned each one of them and kept on the floor for reassembling. It was a hectic process. It's not as easy as you open it up. It's really complex to fit everything back into its place. All these mini parts can't be kept on my small table. That's why I thought to do it on floor. Fitting back the sensor calibration knob and closing the bottom lip was really tough task to do. After the bottom part was screwed properly, I reconnected all the wires and those back screws and inserted the back panel. Finally, I put back the springs and switches right into their places and closed the switch panel. Using a strong rubber adhesive, I put back the seal right into its place as that no air leaks can form. And checked for any further leaks in its dust bags and the seal. A single crack is enough to cause air leakage. Here is the hose connector rubber seal which expanded over the years. I hope you can see the free play, there is a lot of gap which provide a poor seal for the air. I will mention the link to buy them in the description. They are available on Amazon. Now that's a new seal. See the difference. I will put it on the same place. See how tight it is compared to the old seal. It's really hard to remove it. I installed it into its place. There is slots given for See that's perfect and tight. Make sure you check your host diameter before ordering a rubber seal. Mine was 42 mm or 43 mm and the seal's inner diameter was 42 mm so it was perfect for that. Whereas the old seal, see the diameter, it's, it's showing 45 mm, it's expanded a lot over the years. the new seal that's nearly 42 mm. This restoration project was successful. I was able to get a good amount of suction after completing the project. I hope it helps somebody. If you want me to post videos on particular content, please leave your suggestions in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get my latest tech videos. Hope you are doing well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.